In this game, each player is a livestock farmer. The goal is to see how well each player can adjust their farming decisions based on seasonal forecasts. By the end of the game, players should understand the possible uses and limitations of seasonal forecasts, their personal risk-taking preferences, and how these forecasts can affect their livelihood decisions. During the game, each player receives once-off startup capital from the government for farming investments, represented by beans. To guide their investments, players must use seasonal forecasts to decide whether to prepare for drought, which they might do by buying extra fodder and making sure their water points are intact, or whether to prepare for plentiful rain, which they might do by ploughing their land and planting more fodder crops. Players can only invest for one weather condition, and each investment costs them one bean. When the actual weather conditions are revealed, players learn if they have broken even, made a profit, or made a loss. You can tweak this narrative to make the game more suitable for your regional context. For example, the players can farm anything, such as sheep, sorghum, or cattle. Also, instead of focusing your seasonal forecasts on dry versus wet conditions, you could focus them on the early or late onset of the monsoon or rainy season and indicate appropriate preparations for each condition. Tailor these aspects of the game to make it as relevant as possible for your region. Regardless of the overarching narrative, the game will work the same way. It needs only one facilitator, can involve many players, and takes approximately 45 minutes to play. You'll need a spinning dial with removable coloured segments of different sizes. Ideally, the dial will be placed on a wooden board that has self-adhesive Velcro on it to allow the segments to be easily attached and removed. For each player, you'll need five beans, seeds, buttons, or anything of the sort. And overall, you'll need three props, like little plastic wands that represent insurance policies. Once you've described the game, give each player, in this case, each sheep farmer, five beans. Then share a seasonal forecast. For example, you could say that this season, there'll be a 30% chance of drier than average conditions and a 20% chance of wetter than average conditions. Make sure the forecasts are realistic for the area you're in, and typically keep the forecast values between 20 and 45%. The players must then decide how to invest their beans for that round. Use a divider of any sort, such as a line of tape or a broomstick, something that clearly splits the room into two. Have the players who plan to invest in the drier than average conditions stand on one side of this line, while the players who plan to invest in wetter than average conditions stand on the other side of the line. Each player then hands over their investment bean to the person acting as the bank. Initially, this is you, the facilitator. Once the investments have been made, it's time to determine the actual weather for that season. To do this, spin the dial to see if the actual weather was drier than average or wetter than average. If the dial lands on a clear area of the board, spin it again until it lands on either the green or orange segments. Use the dial to see which of the players win and which lose in this round. In this particular spin, the dial has landed on the wetter than average conditions, which means that the players that had invested in the forecast for these conditions win this round. The rainfall means that their investments have led to improvements in the quantity and quality of their fodder, and as a result, their livestock have thrived, so they receive two beans from the bank. The farmers that invested in drier than average conditions lose this round, However, they face only a small loss, given that the rainfall helped them to keep their livestock alive, even if they missed other opportunities. These players neither lose nor gain beans in this round. If the dial had landed on the drier than average conditions, then the players who invested in those conditions would be the winners. Realistically though, even if you prepare for drier than average conditions, these conditions are still tough. So although your investments pay off, these players gain only one bean from the bank and break even. If, however, you prepared for wetter than average conditions and in reality things were drier, no fodder would grow and your livestock would die. So these players lose another bean, which goes to the bank. These different outcomes are explained in detail in a table on the at a glance card for the seasonal forecast game. In round two, the players will start with a different number of beans given that some of them would have won beans in the previous round and some would have lost beans. Once again, you set a new seasonal forecast. 
players again decide which forecast to invest in and move to that side of the room, and then give one more bean to the bank. Then you spin the dial to determine the actual weather conditions and use those to identify your winners and losers. As the rounds continue, some players will lose all their beans and become bankrupt. In real life, under these circumstances, farmers would be forced to give up farming and seek alternative and often harsher livelihoods, like becoming waste pickers in a slum. While we can't represent this reality fully during the game, we do go part of the way there by having the bankrupt farmers migrate to the city to start working at the bank. Importantly, this allows all players to remain involved in the game, even if they are bankrupt. To keep the game interesting, you can introduce a Calamity card at some point. The Calamity could be a flood or a drought, and given the severity of the situation, every player loses two beans, regardless of how they invested during that round. This loss might bankrupt some players. To offset these losses, you can introduce insurance during an earlier round of the game. You offer only three insurance policies and make them available for a very short time, so people have to quickly decide whether they want a policy before the other players buy them all. This mimics the quick and pressurized decisions that people need to make in real life. The policies cost two beans each and protect those players from calamity-related losses for three rounds only. The game continues for as many rounds as you want it to, or until there are very few players left with any beans. Some players will have a lot of beans, some will have very few, and many players will now be working for the bank. A critical part of the game is the reflection process. Ask the players with the fewest beans remaining how they felt during the game. Did they feel vulnerable? Ask the players with the most beans remaining what their strategies were. For those who became bankrupt and joined the bank, ask how it felt for them to lose their farms and how it felt for them to work at the bank. Keep an ear open for sweeping statements and messages that are dangerous, unethical or untrue. Use these comments as opportunities to reflect on important issues. For example, if you hear someone say, this game taught me that insurance is useless, use this as an opportunity to discuss how, in the event of a calamity, insurance can make the difference between life and death. Lastly, the true value of the game emerges when you relate it to real-life contexts, and so it's crucial to discuss and explore the connection between this game and sustainable and resilient farming practices. Remember, as shown earlier, the game is very flexible. In addition to selecting the most relevant farming and weather criteria for your region, you can also tweak the game's mechanics. For example, you can adjust how people gain or lose beans to speed up or slow down the game and create different levels of stress and anxiety. Adapt the game in whatever way makes it most relevant and meaningful for your context.